Happiness is not a destination. It's a lifelong journey. But the good news is, is that we have the ability to control how we feel on this journey. And with consistent practice, we can form lifelong habits that allow us to lead a fulfilling life. Whether it's a walk with a loved one, the peak at a snowy mountaintop, or pulling beautiful flowers from a flower bed, we all have the right to be happy. Maya Angelou once said, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. That's a great way to look at living a happy life. Buenos dias and welcome back to the vlog, everybody. Today, I'd like to talk about entrepreneurship versus having a stable income or a job that you go to on a daily basis for a company. So the definition of an entrepreneur goes something like this. Someone who operates or owns their own business and takes on a greater financial risk. Seems about right. Seems about right. It's not easy. I would also like to shed light on the other aspects of things. Leaving high school and moving into your college career to focus on a specific area of work, such as being a lawyer, being a banker, being a teacher, doing whatever you think that you have interest in and you'd like to get there by following these steps. So there are laid out steps for being a doctor. There are laid out steps for being a teacher. And if you follow those steps, more often than not, you're going to get there with a little perseverance, a little bit of hard work, and it will work out for you. I think entrepreneurship is much the same. You have to work just as hard, you have to work just as long, and if you follow a certain amount of steps, and in most cases they're unidentified or don't have a specific blueprint other than working hard, I really do believe that that's the common thread that binds both of these types of work together because both are going to be work. Whether you're starting your own business and getting yourself in debt by financing your business or you're following a specific set of guidelines and steps that you're paying for and going into debt for, but eventually both roads will cross at some point and there'll be a fork in the road per se where you have to decide on whether you want to take your debt from school or take your debt from the energy that you put in to the entrepreneurial business aspect of your future? What energy are you going to put into your future? And sometimes I don't know why we argue about it online. I feel that some people try to tell other people on the internet that one is better than the other. I don't think that debt is good in any case, but you probably will have to incur some in order to get to where you want to be unless you have a perfectly laid out plan and I don't think most of us do. And that doesn't mean we shouldn't be striving for that. I really truly believe there's another underlying, underpinning point here and that is happiness. Having a smile on your face daily is hard to do. Having the courage to get up every day and know that it's a grand day because you're breathing, you're healthy, you are able to build on the things that you did the day before and follow your aspirations and dreams. That is something we need to reflect on daily. And if you do, you'll figure out what a wonderful world we actually live in. I'm here to say in this video that just get out there, work super hard. Don't listen to a lot of other people or naysayers. Get in an environment that's gonna support your entrepreneurial business side or aspect, or get with a bunch of people that are gonna push you and drive you to get that step-by-step Step, follow that blueprint and be the best teacher, be the best lawyer, be the best ER physician that you can be. All of it has value. All of it has a place in this world, in our lives. So when we cross each other's roads or each other's paths, that there's going to be something super valuable for both of us when we meet. Thanks so much for watching the vlog today. My message is just get out there. Don't try to figure out what the easiest path is because that's certainly that pretty much never works out. Find out what the most beneficial path to happiness is for you. And if you keep that on the daily right up here, then you're gonna be just fine. And you're gonna have to work. Entrepreneurship, a daily job that you have to attend to, either way, you wanna get somewhere 
and you have certain goals and dreams and aspirations, you're gonna have to work hard. Get out there, do your thing. I love ya. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a comment down below and I'd love to engage with you. Give me a like if you liked any part of this video. I love you. Remember, always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life, and when you're having that fun, remember to always keep it fun enough. We're gonna do this again, hopefully tomorrow. Outro, bing!